Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stassi. Thank you so much for being here today. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to have Paul here. So you may know him as Sims Build Boy. So thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Very happy to be here. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for coming. Okay, I'm going to tell you this, but don't think I'm crazy, especially after the conversation we just had. I have been a huge fan of yours pretty early on. And I actually wanted to ask you to do a similar spotlight when I first started doing them, but I was too nervous that you would say no. So I was just <laughs> like, oh my God. And now I had enough confidence. I was like, I can do this. So, and when you're like, yeah, for sure. I was like, oh my God. Oh my <laughs> God. He actually said, yes. Oh my God. Cause I love your builds. I've always loved your builds from very early oh, on. You. And thank I you. like used to like use your builds for inspiration to do mine. So I'm so thankful you're here today. And, yeah. um, Let's, you know, let's start this off. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and how long you've been playing The Sims? Yeah, well, once again, thanks for having me. Um, I will say that I watched a few of the videos and I thought on my Sims account, it's very much like just like my builds and I don't really do um, reels or anything like that. Like no one ever hears me or like anything like that. So I thought, oh, this would be a great opportunity for people to actually actually get to know me. And also, like all your, I, I literally every like every morning, like a video pops up of yours, and I'm like, oh, who you're interviewing now? Like, what's this round table? And loving it. Anyway, Aww. so yeah, I'm. My name's Paul. For anyone that doesn't know my name, um, I'm British. I've just turned 33. Um, I am also single. Um, I work uh, for probably one of the most famous wealth banks in the world. Um, so I work in wealth and private banking and management. And I, with, in regards to like Sims, um, I was, I'm an OG. So I got the first Sims. Um, a funny story actually is back in those days, like there was no like little maps or anything like that. So uh, when my grandparents bought me my computer for my for Christmas, they actually had to put that shit, had to hide it in the shed because it was like on a whole, a whole thing with like, a, um, um, like a blanket over it. And then um, one day we we have this store, which is no longer about, it's called Dixon's and they sell like TVs and mm -hmm. they'd have like these little like carousels with like games on. And I remember seeing the sim. I was like, oh, let's have a little look at that. And I just like begged them to buy it for me. So I got it, played it, was addicted. And then like hot date came out and holidays and making magic. And I was just like, it's all I ever wanted. And um, even then I was more of like, I'd spend so much time building and I would play for like a little bit and then get a bit bored and then like build again. Um, and then, yeah, life happened <laughs> and everything. And I never really played. I never played Sims 2. I never played Sims 3. Um, and it, like I said, it was pretty much over lockdown. And I saw something on Instagram, um, like some advert for The Sims. I was like, oh, let's have a little look. Mm -hmm. Then I downloaded it on my Mac. It did not work. It was just like crashing every five minutes. So then I... And I paid like the full price for it at the time, which was like I don't know, 30 quid or something. So I thought, okay, shit, my Mac's crap, right? So mm -hmm. I'll get it on my PlayStation. So I've got like PlayStation, uh, PlayStation, I don't even know, was it a four? Yeah, four. And um, I was on it for five minutes. I paid like 35 quid for it. I was on it five minutes and I hated it. I was like, let me try the Mac again. So I, I then... I, I went back, but luckily it was on sale when I went back. So I got it for like a fiver, mm -hmm. but I'd still lost 35 quid on the PlayStation. I was like, yeah. oh, bugger. Um, and then, yeah, so literally like I started building at the very, very beginning of, well, 2020, like November 2020, I think I, I bought it. Um, and then, yeah, kind of been building ever since really and like super addicted. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, there's a lot to unpack there. Um, I like talking about- so Sims in there and also like me in there, I guess. No, I mean, A, you're super smart. That's that's awesome. Um, what's it like to be a banker? And like, I'm just, I'm just always curious. I've never actually talked to a banker that wasn't my personal banker. And I try to make jokes with him, but he's the most serious person you'll ever yeah. meet. So like, is it a super stressful job or is it uh, more fun than people think it is? Yeah, so I mean, a lot of people actually on because I'm on Discord quite a lot. I'm on with something similar. If you're watching, I love you guys. Um, and like when I was having my interview process and everything for the new company that I'm at, um, which I joined in October. Um, before then, I was with like a normal bank. But I was a private bank for a normal bank, so it was very like high sales. Um, like you're just a number because it was like there's so many branches, right? 
Um, and I loved the job. Like I loved my position. I knew everything. Like I thought I was shit hot and everything. Um, but like I say, it just wasn't filling me. I wanted to get out of sales um, because it's, I don't know if you like know about, well, you do. Because, well, like um, in the US, you have obviously the presidents, we have like prime ministers yeah, yeah. and you see like when they're stressed out over like their term, they go very, very gray. Mm-hmm. And that's because it's like a high pressure job. And I just wanted to get out of that. So when I joined um, this new bank, well, it's, Coot, it's called Coots & Co. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's where the, where the queen banks um, and uh, and like the rich and famous. Um, but I didn't go in there as a private banker because you kind of have to go through their process once you're in the company. Or you have to come from a bank like JP Morgan, like really, really high up. Um, so I kind of, I've gone in, in as like a CDA. So I kind of, it's it's not as pressure, it's not as pressure, but you just need to know everything. Um, <laughs> um, but it's very much like, keep the client happy, um, get things done when they need to be done and like, just don't make mistakes. Like I'll literally say this um, because like in my company, it's been a bit difficult with training and everything. And I have lots of issues with, uh, with, with the way they train. Um, but I literally lost the company like six grand <laughs> the other day because I forgot to sell a trade like for two days after it was supposed to be done and the market dipped. Um, but that's not my fault because I'm new and they should have someone like, you know, doing that kind of stuff but literally I lost six grand in like five minutes <laughs> oh my god that's all part of the learning right there you but, go that's, yeah. that's, that's part of banking oh my god okay I work and yeah. I work in marketing I work um primarily in social media marketing so if I mess up I just forget to put a hashtag and no one dies or I don't like yeah. that's crazy <laughs> again I see I like talking um about this because like People have this connotation that like we are adult gamers. So all we do is just smoke weed all day and play video games. That's actually not true. I have interviewed several doctors that play The Sims, a banker, um, veterinarians, you name it. So that's what I love to see is I want to break that stereotype that you can be a gamer and still be successful. Yeah, I don't know. I think all the all the stoners are playing Fortnite, right? Or right? Like, yeah, or, or, or like who dead plays before that? dawn? Or something. Yeah, dead before dawn. Um, was, was the, I only really play The Sims. I don't really play any other games because I am awful at anything that involves shooting. Like I'm, I kill. Yeah. I would kill myself. Like I would shoot myself by mistake. And if you can't do it in every game, don't worry. I could figure or you'd like out how to shoot do your it. teammate, and then the whole team would be like off with you. Yeah, a hundred percent. I'd be like, "Who's on my team?" Like, I can't even play Smash Bros on the Switch because my ADHD brain can't remember who I am. So I'm watching like <laughs> these like five people come at me. And I'm like, "Who am I? What's my objective? Is it to press?" I just mash buttons and hope for the best. But anyways, I feel like mashing buttons <laughs> and hoping for the best is definitely a good way for a good. Oh, like Mortal Kombat. I'm just like tap 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 yeah. tap tap. Hopefully, I'll win. Right. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hey, I got you. I'm an OG simmer. I started playing um, when I was about 10 years old. It was 2003, which makes me feel really old now, thinking that that was, uh, I was 10 in 03. Um, I played Sims 1 uh, through and through. I love Sims 2 was my favorite. I didn't really get a chance to play Sims 3 too much just because I was in college at the time. Um, Sims 4, I only bought it because I watched Kelsey and Peach K's 100 Baby Challenge uh, with BuzzFeed. And that really got me back into it. And then when we all got sent home um, back in 2020, I bought it because I had nothing else better to do. It was the first time in yeah. my professional career that I was sent home and I didn't have to find another job. Yeah. I could. You're a, you're a chef, right? Yes. Oh, my yeah, God. So... Thank you. Oh, my God. Yes. How do you... Oh, you do. <laughs> I, I watch your videos. Oh, I my God. Yeah. No. I've so, like, yeah. I've probably seen... I've probably seen like 80% of them. So yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Well, thank you. That just humbled the shit out of me. <laughs> um, yeah. So I did go to school to be a, um, originally a graphic designer. Um, and then I did marketing and then I did culinary. And, um, as you will know, I gave up the culinary career because it was not a nine to five job and I was not making a lot of money. I don't make a lot of money what I'm doing now, but it's more than what I was being a chef. Um, well, as long as you're happy, that's all that matters. I, I think, I think I'm happy. I think I was thinking about this the other day. Like I'm pretty satisfied where my end of my twenties are heading. I know everybody's very scared to start with that three zero. I'm honestly, I'm just more happy that I'll be more respected at that point. And when I tell people I'm going to bed at like 10 PM, they're not like, come on, come on, like go to the bars. You're still in your twenties. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, 
sleep and water are my uh, my best friends. But anyways. The, the, the best advice I've ever got is like a lot of people try and think that the older they get, the more successful they have to be. And when, yeah. But that, like I've been told by numerous people from all different backgrounds, like don't listen to that. Like, you know, there's there's people there's like kids out there making millions off YouTube, mm-hmm. like showing toys more than their parents probably own in their whole lifetime. Like it's just it's just what happens. Like, so as long as you're happy, you, you do what you can do. I'd say even in my job, there are people that are, I mean, I'm 33, so you know, I'm probably one of the older simmers, but um it, it like in my job, there are people that are younger than me that are higher than me. But I don't think to myself, well, why am I not there? Like everyone has their own path. Mm-hmm. Um, but don't feel you haven't no, you know, you're not at a right place because you're hitting 30. Like it's not how it works. I, I totally agree with you. Like my girlfriends are like, cause they like everyone has this goal when you're a girl, you're, you're taught you have to be married, house husband kids by the time you're 30 that's not yeah. realistic anymore I got fiance which I'm gonna get married this year hopefully knock on knock on wood <laughs> that would be really great I was supposed to get married last year because of COVID though couldn't happen um we are trying for a family house Amazing. that is so far like far away that's very far away because I can't afford <laughs> a million dollar house you know so um but anyways I feel like we got to subtract with life I mean how can you not these days? Well, I will actually say, though, I'm actually best man at a wedding this year for my best friend. <gasps> oh, uh, my gosh. And it's in Italy, in oh Pescara. My. Oh, my God. And it's one of those places where they have one flight a day. So, you know, it's going to be like pain. Yeah. Oh, a hundred. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's exciting. Yeah, weddings all around, eh? <laughs> oh, my, oh, my God. I went to five weddings last year, even throughout the pandemic. I still went to five. We're invited to seven this year. That sounds right. That sounds right. Seven. And then our big reception is going to be next year. But yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. we have Yours course, is the next one. Oh, my God. No. This, no, I, I don't, I'm, get, I'm getting married this year, regardless of where we are. I don't even care if I have to have three people. That's all we're having is me, yeah. my fiance, and the official. I don't care. And there are two witnesses. Don't care. Anyways. <laughs> Um, so you, you said that you never played Sims 2. This is a question I like to ask OG Simmers. If Origin put it on sale, um, or even had it, would you buy Sims 2? No. No? no. Can I ask uh, why? One, because I just about have enough time to work on Sims 4. Uh, um, and at the same time, from everything that I hear, even though I haven't played Sims 2 and 3, but I've played 1, mm-hmm. I've been told that Sims 4, it's very like hit or miss, but it's very much for builders, Sims 4. Um, like, you can do a lot more than you you could in the other ones. And I'm all about building, so um, I don't think I would, no. I mean, if I, like, I don't know, I was a recluse and, you know, didn't go out and I had all this time and I worked part-time because I could afford to, but then not do anything else, then maybe. But mm-hmm. But no, I think... I think I kind of, it fa- I feel like Sims found me like in the right time for what it, what it's, what, I mean, I can't really say like I, I could be, a, you know, a little bit ignorant by not knowing, but um, as far as I know, Sims 4 is like the best for building. So I'm not going to backtrack. I mean, I know there are like proper Sims 2, especially Sims 3 fans out there, mm-hmm. all about like the color wheels and things like that. But I never really got to experience that. So, you know, I'm not really missing anything that I, I never missed, you know. Hey. But yeah, no, it would be a no. That's a, that's okay. Hey, a lot of people are like, yes. A lot of people are like, yes, yeah, Doss, because I wasn't even alive when Sims 2 came out. And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> now I'm really old. Uh, hey, I, honestly, I I wouldn't go back and buy it. I, I have a copy of Sims 2 upstairs. I'm sure if I put it in my computer, my computer would be like, what the fuck is this? Because this is like, <laughs> is this ancient, this is like an ancient tomb. <laughs> go away. What's um, this relic? Yeah, exactly. But no, like I, I really like Sims 4. Um, I think it started rough, got better, but we didn't mm. start it when it was rough. Like I didn't play Sims 4 back in 2014. Exactly. I played I in 2020 have, when I know it was they didn't, even, they didn't even have pools, did they? Like, they didn't even have swimming pools. Nope. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, I, I so will I'm... say though, I wish they would bring back the uh, diving board for the Sims. That's yes. something I do miss. I really do miss that. And I miss the, the, uh, the only, the only actual thing that I, I, the only like negative about joining late is that there's so many packs out. Mm-hmm. And I mean, luckily for me, I have no children. I earn a pretty good income in, mm-hmm. to be, in all fairness. Um, so for me, buying the packs is fine, but mm-hmm. oh my God, I probably spent like 800 pounds like, in the mm-hmm. first three months, just like collect. I mean, I have every expansion pack, I have every game pack apart from, 
the journey to Batu. They do have these big doors that yes. I really want, but it's not worth the money just for that door. Um, and literally the other day for my birthday, the um, there was a sale on, and I got a third off of. I bought Strangerville, and mm-hmm. I also bought Vampires. Mm-hmm. Um, and oh my god, Strangerville! Have you seen the doors? It's yeah. I only bought it for the doors. I literally bought it. I mean, those doors are just so good. I haven't even used them yet. They're not going to work in my New Orleans, Willow Creek kind of area that I'm working on at the moment. But, oh, my God, they're so beautiful. But, um, but yeah, I can't remember what the question was. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That actually led me to my next question. Um, I know you don't play with CC. Is there a specific reason you don't play with CC? I used to play with CC. I, when I first w- bought Sims 4, um, I was playing it. Um, and I was going on to like finding CC, but I just felt like so much of my time was like looking for CC. Mm-hmm. Um, every time there was an update or something like things would break, all my women would be bald and, <laughs> you know, like, cause I played, I play a little bit as well. Like in all fairness, the only, what I really wanted to play was cottage living. Mm-hmm. Like I'm British, I'm proper British. Um, and I'm from Buckinghamshire, which is a very country, like, it, it, it's that it's come, it's cottage living right yeah and for me what i love was this this was it the simple living trait okay yeah where you have to like cook all your own food but you can't just pick it out of the fridge and i bloody love that so uh, but then i still got bored of just playing after a while went back to building but um um what was your question again <laughs> yeah i'm moving on to something else cc DC, Why you don't play with CC? Sorry, sorry. That's okay. So, yeah, so no, one, no to CC because one, I love people to like download my builds and play with them, um, which you can't do. Two, because it breaks um, when there's updates and things like that. And also, like, I always find like a lot of CC stuff is very like, I mean, it's hard because you've got like what, Alpha and Maxis. Mm-hmm. I'm very much in the middle. Like, mm. you look at some things from like the earlier packs and they're very very like not realistic right like yeah. very big and, and I don't like that but also I don't like stuff that's really real because then it doesn't become sims it becomes more like oh you're mm-hmm. just trying to do real life so I kind of like in the middle and the other reason I don't use cc is because I'm a badass right <laughs> so you kind of work with what you've got and you have to mm-hmm. kind of make the best out of it and it's like a challenge and I could go in and I could download I mean I made I made spiral staircase which i don't think anyone's ever made um and it's probably what a lot of simmers know me for is my spiral staircase um but i could just download that like probably mm-hmm. i know you'd, they wouldn't be able to walk up it but um they would like there'd be like an invisible lift or something that would take you there but i like the fact that i've made it and i've be- become creative and made that myself out of what's in the game um so it's kind of like a bit like a game within itself to make something that is that CC? I mean, a lot of people say to me, a lot of my things are like, what CC is this? I'm like, it's not CC. <laughs> so yeah, that, they're my kind of three reasons. Like one breaks game, two people can't play it. And three, I like the challenge of working what's within, within what's in the game. Hey, that, I mean, that's, that's good answers. Um, I, but used- I will say CC creators are like absolutely amazing. Um, I do want to start doing my own like no CC art where you get your simmers to like mm-hmm. paint on another lot. Um, still working out all those kinks and stuff, but um, but yeah, like I mean, CC creators are just like super, super, super creative. Like oh my some gosh. of this stuff, like I watch a few other simmers, like um, Eva um, um, and Tefisimo. He's been doing a lot of CC lately and stuff, and I love how like they put it together and what they create. Um, and I might do it in the future. <clears throat> On my bio, it's like no CC, so I don't want to be like the hypocrite kind of person. But um, I think at some point, I probably will do like a few builds with CC, Mm -hmm. um, depending on what I like. Yeah, hey, I totally get you. Um, When I first started this back off a year ago, I was like, I don't use CC. I use anything EA gives me. Um, I actually have it in an interview that um, I said that, and I, I was being interviewed by somebody else, and they had pulled up that clip. And like, so how's that using CC oh, sauce? Man. Like, how's that how's that going for you? It's like, so I've changed my mind. Uh, no, I, I get you. When I build stuff specifically for the gallery, I will not use CC to the best yeah. of my trying um, because I want people to play it. But at this point, I'm actually at the point where I actually just want to build for me and not for everybody yeah. else. And so now I'm starting to use CC for builds for me. Like we were talking about our, like my working on Love Day builds right now. I'm specifically using ones with CC because I have this vision 
And yeah. EA can't give me the vision I'm looking for. Yeah. So I just spent like 40 minutes yesterday and just CCing it. And it's it's so nice. And I, yeah. just, I just, I like it being that creativity. creativity. Yeah. Oh my gosh, creativity. But there is one thing I try very hard not to do. No English signs. Because it screws with me. Because they don't speak English. We speak English. English. And yeah. it looks weird. I don't expect it. Very weird. I would want it in Simlish. I wouldn't want it in English. But um, anyway. What's actually really funny is that, like, I mean, I've used some CC. Like, I, I do a lot of, like, I used to, early on, I used to do a lot of recreations, like, of mm-hmm. magazine covers and things like that. And I did this Porsche, uh, a Porsche cover. Yeah. Um, but obviously, there's no Porsches in the game, right? So everything within this image is, like, Sims. Mm-hmm. But I, I needed the Porsche because, like, that was the, kind of the main focus within the magazine. Mm-hmm. So I actually had to go and get CC to, you know, get, get that Porsche. Porsche. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's exactly it. Like with CC, there's so much. Like, so yeah. I was builder, builder, builder. And then I kind of switched to cast. Now I'm a storyteller, but I kind of do everything. I mean, there's nothing yeah. I don't do. I mean, you do like what feels for you yeah. at the time, what well, you want to like get into. That's exactly it. Right. So, mm-hmm. like, you need CC if you're doing cast. I don't care what you say. You must. It is. It's an absolute must. Um, builds. I think you can. I think EA is getting better, which leads me to my next couple of questions about packs. So- I, I have a quick question because if you you know quite a lot about cast and CC cast. Yeah, sure. Like I used to download a lot of like I used to have like all my women used to look like, look like models and everything, and I get these really high high heels. Mm-hmm. But like the heels would join at the back. Do mm-hmm. they still do that? They still do that. I know. Another reason why I don't do CC. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, it, I hate that. <laughs> it still does. Like for me, like none of my characters are really in heels, so it doesn't really affect the story. But I know what you're talking about. And they're yes. normally running for their lives, aren't they? You know, like, <laughs> someone's been murdered. <laughs> oh, hundred percent. Oh, well, for voice acting, yes, I've definitely. Oh, those been, ones. Yeah, 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 I was yeah. gonna say my story. No, ah. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Uh voice acting. Yeah, I'm al- I'm always the final girl running in heels. I think that's definitely the uh the trend. But anyways, what is your favorite pack? My favorite pack. Your favorite pack. <sighs> um I would say, you know, it's like a mix. I mean, like to play wise, definitely like not even though I'm not really a player, but to play wise, it would be cottage living. Okay. And I know this will be really silly because they came out very, very close together, but like Dream Home Decorator, like the sofas i mean they're not perfect but the yeah. fact that you can like make corner sofas and everything and the the hanging clothes like mm-hmm. that just like i was like that's bomb um so probably those two i mean like pre those two though i would say like parenthood is a really good one they've got some great okay. bits in parenthood um and seasons seasons yeah those are yeah. a lot of people say seasons but no, I like oh. se- seasons is good. I also like pets and cats and dogs. Yeah. Especially if you're doing a novel, 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 not this like going out to the Nautical. sea. Nautical. Nautical. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Cause I, I did a lighthouse and it was like, all this stuff was in cats and dogs. I was like, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, I have, I have all the expansion packs. I have every game pack besides star Wars, because like you, I refuse to spend yeah. $30 on doors. Um, I have most of the stuff packs besides, you know, like first pet teenager, you know, the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Need. I haven't got that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and kits, which I despise with a passion. I have two, one I bought freely, one I bought drunk. Um, <laughs> what are the two? I have cottage living, I said a cottage living, country kitchen. Because I, say, I, I wish that was a kit price. I, I wish it was. Um, no, I, I sometimes have, I hate being so invested in a pack because I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna buy it at full price, right? <laughs> I'm like, shit. No, I, I don't have to be invested. I have only ever bought one pack at full price, and that was paranormal. <laughs> I've never bought another pack of uh, uh, full price uh for cottage living. Also, paranormal, fucking amazing pack. It's so that's great. probably one of us as well. I so and I, like everything no i totally agree with you i was looking i was looking for pink sofas and i was like oh my god that's actually a really nice one in there um i definitely think i like to see more stuff packs i don't know about you yeah. i'm really sick of kits i'm sick of kits because like i said you know it's like just a little present isn't it that you, i mean it's not over here it's like 4.99 like it's not a lot of money um so they don't actually bother me like 
I like my favorite probably kit is like the Oasis kit. Mm-hmm. Um, I just and it's not even my style, mm-hmm. but there's so many things you can use in that kit for like other things. I mean, I built a train station with a train in it, and um, like in the UK, we have like in our train stations, a lot of the walls are like tiled halfway, yeah, and it just like works so well. I mean, it's the most un Moroccan kind of oasis build, but it just like works so perfectly. Um, industrial loft. Yeah, it was like 50 50 with me there was a few things in there i like the, the vents and stuff mm-hmm. um but i thought a lot like the coffee table was just nasty um and i always find they make the coffee tables like way too big mm-hmm. i have to shrink them down or um, they're uh the um and bedside tables yeah oh yeah my God. yeah yeah the side. and then the worst annoying thing about that is you shrink something down you'll then have to obviously tool or use the red shelf to like getting to, like to lower the thing on it. Yep. But sometimes when you then go back into it after you've come out of the game, after it's saved, it's disappeared. Yep. And that just gets on my fucking nut. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> there's a pain just like putting something on like a shrunken like side table and then you just take it away. Like it's my hard work. I agree. But yeah, I mean, I don't mind kits. I don't, I, I don't mind them because like I said, they are super cheap. I know things are a bit more expensive in Canada. Um, the good thing about kits is if you don't like it, you don't get it. I mean, I never bought mm-hmm. Dust the Bus Kit. Uh, just to you have didn't want to vacuum? You didn't want to, you know, have your Sims vacuum and then combust because the bunnies caught fire? Uh, like, for well, no reason? Yeah. I mean, like I said, I play sometimes now and again, and I thought vacuum, like, that makes it, like, really real. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, there were so many glitches. I was reading about all these glitches, like, everyone's house is fucking full of dust. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, I mean... Fair enough in your game, you haven't physically got to do it, but it's a lot of work to keep clearing it up if you're in, in the game. And then I thought to myself, I'm not paying five pounds for a fucking Hoover. No. Um, and I don't buy any of the cloak, I don't do clothing. But I think if I was to buy clothing kit, I think the newest kit would be a really cool kit to buy. I think they've got some beautiful dresses in the new kit. Oh, um, the, uh, the one that literally just came out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, the, like, that's carnival. I'm I, I watch all the videos where they like go through like everything, and especially when packs come out. Still, before I buy them, even if I'm not going to buy them, I still like go through the whole exactly what they've got, so I can really in my head like work out: am I being conscious with my money? <laughs> like, that's what I did with Star Wars because mm-hmm. I would have bought that if I hadn't if I hadn't have watched the video mm-hmm. because I was like, oh my god, those those that big fucking door, like I need that in my life. And I thought, and I normally I'd be like, oh, I'll just download it. There'll be some other bits I could use. Mm-hmm. Nothing, nothing else I want to use. It's nothing. 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 I I totally agree with you. Um, the other kit I bought, I didn't tell you, was the blooming kit, and I bought that piss face drunk kit. at Christmas. I uh, it's 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 okay. So kits for us are eight bucks with tax. Yeah, it's expensive. So kits yeah. are that uh, stuff packs are fifteen, game packs are thirty, expansions are sixty. So they're expensive, and that's like 60. that's when my yeah sixty bucks for expansion. So that's why I only buy them when they're on sale. Uh, but anyways, uh, it's super expensive. Um, I kind of, I'm not really happy with like any more kits. And the reason I'm not happy with kits is because um, I was ha- I was having a conversation with Faye the Simmer and we kind of both agreed that we feel like it's just EA patting themselves on the back for trying to be more inclusive, but yeah. that's, they're just like really phoning it in. Like they're not putting more depth to it. Um, no. I definitely hope to see that a little bit more in Sims 5. We'll see a little bit more inclusivity yeah. for everybody. Um, speaking of Sims 5, what are your hopes for Sims 5? I mean, my biggest hope is like if it's going to start the way I heard Sims 4 did, and you're going to get not that much, it's like I'm more worried about the community in kind of Sims 5. Like, is everyone going to carry on with Sims 4? Um, are, people, are they still going to bring out things for Sims 4? Uh, um, or is everyone just going to go to five and start with that? Like, spend, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of us have spent a lot of money mm-hmm. on Sims 4. So I do hope we kind of grow them together until it gets to a place where we're like, okay, we can put Sims 4 to bed. Uh, but for Sims 5, I mean, because I'm not really a player, like the whole open world and cars and it doesn't really bother me. Um, for me, Sims 5, I want depth in walls. Okay. Yep, I, I agree have- with you. I want to have depth so I can have like a sunken window in the wall, how walls actually are, especially in the UK. Um, I want to have curved walls. Okay. I mean, a lot of these things I want also for Sims 4, to be fair. Um, ceilings. I want fucking ceilings. Instead like, of it being white? 
Fuck, I know. Or gray, or gray. Or gray. Like yep. you do like a roof build where you've got like an exposed roof. It's bloody gray. I, I built a church, a, a converted church. Mm-hmm. And the whole upstairs, like the whole roof is all open. And like the upstairs, as soon as you look up, it's just like gray nothingness. Um, I would like a color wheel for things like, okay. so you can change, you know, just like the walls. And if, if there's like, say one, um, wall that is or wallpaper or wooden wall whatever you want to call it um you could change it to like any color you want because one of the issues with sims 4 is a lot of things don't match right mm-hmm. um and what else would i like to see uh i would like to see don't really know actually just <laughs> i don't know maybe a little bit better graphics i mean if they've like the way that we look at Sims 4 is there's a lot of packs that I've got. You can tell that was like the earlier stage mm-hmm. of Sims. And they literally, I feel like there's stuff in the Sims that no one ever uses. No one ever uses. It's like, why is it even there, right? Um, they should, a bit like how they did the Spa refresh pack, they should go back to some other packs and like really, because some of them, are like even the graphics are terrible on like some bookcases, fucking awful. Um, so I do hope that they kick the ball rolling in Sims 5 and everything is like, fresh and nice but yeah for me better wall paper better walls curved walls platforms joining okay. onto higher foundations always having to fill that gap mm-hmm. fucking hate it um and yeah that's pretty much everything i think bit I like, basic I, be, be, better carpets there Our we go right uh, I, I definitely like your laundry list. I, I hope at least The Sims does 50% of it. As at this point, I'm yeah. just hoping for 50%, um, <laughs> which leads me to my next question. So you said something really interesting. Um, so EA has stepped out and said that there's still at least um, two to three more years of content for The Sims 4 still to come out. Uh, that also means that there will be a new expansion pack in either the end of the first quarter or second quarter of 2022. What do you think that expansion pack is going to be? And uh, since you talked about refreshes, I feel like there will be more pack refreshes. What pack would you like to see refreshed? Questions. Let's go with, I'll go with the refreshes pack first. So okay. maybe city living. Okay. Um, I feel it's, I love apartments but they need to sort out those bloody windows. Like you knew, like I've, I've not actually gone and used tool to change the windows. And I've not built too much of city living, but the fact that like, you can't change the windows or like the door or the hallway, I think they should redo that pack. So it's more like you can do that. Um, and like, also like having like neighbors, like mm-hmm. you don't really see much or they're playing loud music, or whatever, like just something that's a bit more, you can kind of see everything. Um, and so yeah that'll be my pack refresh okay. uh would be living um and what was the question again the other one what do you think the next expansion pack is going to be uh, expansion pack i don't know you know like i mean people were saying about cottage living like there was a lot of cars around so mm-hmm. like maybe cars a lot of people pushing for horses um <laughs> everyone's I mean, I know pushing what, for horses yeah. for horses I mean, I would love a builder's pack. Like, okay. you know, like how in debug, like you've got like the posts and stuff, but you can't mm-hmm. swatch them. So yes. you've only got that, that shade of wood. Yep. Um, I would love like just a builder's pack, like of okay. just bits and pieces. Um, I would love like to be able to like have marble countertops, like I say ceilings, paneled, like more modern with better color swatches for like paneled walls. Um, like I say more carpets. Okay. Um, what else would I like to see? Maybe different types of roofing, or we only literally have just the same roof, but just different shapes. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would like to see, yeah, that's, that's, it's hard for me because be, just being like pure builder, like people, like other people want like worlds and different yeah. worlds and things like that. I'm, 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 I feel like I've got different dimension of worlds already um on there but i would just like a building pack <laughs> and i can't really guess what is going to happen because uh, i have no fucking clue but um, I, I know what i i totally agree with you and so sorry to cut you off um i want a builder's pack i'm tired of these like i don't play to play i play for my story i get out i don't i can't tell you the last time i actually did a gameplay 
I ha- it was brought to my attention that like when you have weddings that everyone goes to um, like to the arbor if you like if your sims get married because your sims are too busy eating cocktails. I was like, what? I also just learned you can take your sims shoes off. That blew my mind. Uh-huh. I had I had no idea. I was like, huh? I'll be damned. Because again, I don't do gameplay. I I wish for the same thing. The rumor on the street, it's going to be generations. It's going to be the next. Ah. Do you think it's going to be like they're going to put maybe more age gaps in? Oh, and another thing I heard as well is I would actually, even though I don't play, I'd like to see it because, like, technically in the UK, like, I'm probably quite short. I'm, like, five foot eight. Mm -hmm. Uh, But there's no, like, heights in the Sims. And I think it makes everyone quite generic looking because everyone's kind of the same, right? Mm -hmm. And I think they should. I mean, like, they, they... being inclusive, I think the people, the most unheard heard of people being inclusive is short people. Like you go to a runway, they'll have models, mm-hmm. slim, whatever, gorgeous. But now they have like, obviously models are every race. Now mm-hmm. they're every body, body shape and everything. Mm-hmm. Are they short? No. No. So uh, it'd be nice to have some inclusivity around like height. Because oh, God, I mean, yeah. I've had people literally turn me down because of my height. Wait, um, in the past, how tall are you? Five eight. You're five eight. Okay, I'm five foot. Is, like I'm yeah, five I foot mean, on the dot. Like yeah. I'm extremely short. People think yeah. I'm six feet because I have a personality of I'm, I'm tall. Yeah, it's because I'm so short. I I would love that. Like the only way to get around it right now are, are poses. So you can have height difference poses, which is great. Yeah. But I agree with you. I I'd hope with that with um, yeah. I, mean, I, know I know it's hard to do because. If you've got to think of it, if a sim is talking to another sim, mm-hmm. they're looking like at the right height, but then at the same time, it's like they've then got to input and make a change where they like look down actually in the eye. So I, I do understand like if it was that easy, they would have done it, but it like, would be so, something. Like, that- what if they had like, like, a, like not like a slide, but like three options. So short, yeah, normal, 100%. tall, right? So keep Even normal better. what they have Even now better. and then just have two options. So it's easier to look up and look down. Exactly. Uh, no. Yeah. There we go. I, I, I let's hope for that. It's EA, you'll know. Ne- I know you never listen to this because I'm never going to be EA <laughs> game changer. But for some reason, if you do, please give us give us some heights. Uh, yeah. I got a, I've got a couple more questions for you, and then let you go on on your way. Um, what is your favorite type of build to build? I mean, I like I like to throw people like off like they're like Mm -hmm. wow like what is this so i like to build things that just aren't in game Mm -hmm. um i like to build like things that are from movies and so maybe things like vehicles um i like to build i build trains tractors um out of what's in game um probably yeah probably like something like out of the ordinary um just th- using things that are debug. I mean, I've made, I actually saved it on my phone. So I made like an entire walk in wardrobe and I only made it because you've got the hanging clothes. Yes. But the whole entire wardrobe is made out of like this sign from debug. Oh my God. That's awesome. Because the back of it is, looks like granite. Yep. Um, and I grab a picture. So I made like this entire like walking walk. And actually the, the reason I made it was the fact of, because when we got the shoes in the mm-hmm. um, Dream Home Decorator, yes. I was like, oh my God, a shoe wall. The shoes are actually tilted. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, I really want to make like a closet so I can tilt the shoes and, you know, blah, 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 blah. So um, when I made like this walk walking wardrobe, Oh my god! Um, it's all out of that one object. Yeah. The only thing that isn't there is the, the only thing that isn't part of it is the clothes, like yes. and the shoes. That's from Dream on Decorator. But the entire thing was made out of like that one object. Um, painstaking work, I know. Um, so yeah, like my favorite build is something like everyone does houses, and mm-hmm. I appreciate like they live amazing, and I've made houses and stuff. But I always find like when I go by like my comments on my IG, like people are like. I get a ton of comments when I make something that's not in game. And like, that just like pushes me to, to want to do it more. So yeah, anything that's not in game, I love, I love to build. If it's a house in the sky, I would want to build it because everything's on the floor in the Sims, right? Yes. But yeah, vehicles, stations, um, places out in movies. Yeah. 
no, that's, that's awesome. I, I agree. I, I do feel like the builders do just build houses all the time, like a lot. Mm. Um, I do like your builds. I do like that they are different and they're not just the same run of the mill because I yeah. feel like builders get stuck in this route that they use. Okay. So if I'm building, I use like, you use the same bed, the same couch, the same everything, because that's just so what, what you're used to doing, but there's yeah. so much more that you can do and be creative, yeah. especially since you're not using CC, you're trying to use everything uh, to the max because yeah. you're, that's what you, that's what you are. That's what you do. So that's yeah. awesome. Can't play with any of it, but it looks great. <laughs> yeah, no, I, that's another thing. I'm like not but game tested. Like looks home, pretty. I home decorator as well. Like that was, it was, I love that pack, but at the same time, I felt like I was just using everything so much. Mm-hmm. And that's why I was a bit like, right, I've got to get out of this. And yep. even the tractor that I made, the actual roof of the tractor is actually the new the coffee table from Dream Home Decorator. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, I can't just keep making like a house with the same furniture, the yep. same kitchen, just in a different color. Like I've got to do something different, right? So that's like, yeah, yeah, totally. Okay. What is your favorite item for build? What's your favorite one? I'm gonna have to go with that because okay. I mean that like object. I know it's from Debug, but I also made like a um, like a complete kitchen. Oh, I made like an entire TV oh unit God. out of that like one object. Mm-hmm. Um, I know it's Debug, so and also yeah, like an entire floating kitchen out of that one object, apart from the white. Um, oh wow. System. But yeah, that is probably like my favorite item um, that I like to use. Um, okay. What is your least favorite item to use? Those nasty, nasty bookshelves that are like, the yeah. graphics are terrible. Um, and there's some sofas that are just, oh. I mean, I just hate things. If, I mean, if they could just like keep what you've got, but just like change the swatches, like, um, and that's another thing, like, but I really want to see more of this Sims 5 actually going back to that. Mm-hmm. is um working with like cc creators like yes it's so underrated but when they gave us that little like was it 20 years the little birthday thing and we got like the it was last year it was 21 yeah so yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you had the the cc creators in the room where stuff was happening the only pro- the only thing i hope is if the ea does, is going to continue to do that because they they are doing it for the the first quarter which is my last question um i hope that they give them Cre- more credit instead of it just being 100%. like instead of it just being like a tiny line saying like they made this like let's like i hope they would do a deeper dive kind of like what i'm doing today with well, they you, do a but- better job than, than the sims team do so oh absolutely they do um another, another thing that i can't get is like i mean i think i've watched um like like my, some of my favorite simmers are plumberlina she's british as well mm-hmm. um she's just hilarious um but um they just they just do they just do so much more um they can like really fit it like all in and yes. that new that that pack that they launched like everything i loved about it like that wardrobe gorgeous the chairs and the dining room table gorgeous like yeah it's just they, i wish they just do like more of that 100% i i totally agree with you um i hope to see more better stuff you know especially moving forward like looking back at like what EA put out like seven years ago versus what yeah. they're putting out today are just completely different things, uh, which leads me to my final question. Um, obviously, EA has dropped their first uh, roadmap quarter. We are halfway through it now. Um, mm-hmm. We know that there's a wedding pack coming out uh, on the 17th. Um, obviously, the first kit has come out. Um, they've talked about changing pronouns. They've talked about um, the rope that's coming out. Are you excited for quarter one of Sims 4, or are you just kind of bored with it? I mean, the pronouns and the names, I 100% get that. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I'm like, I'm all there, for, like, I'm a big supporter of the trans community. Yep. Um, like, even my head, even my hairdressers, like, it's like a completely inclusive hairdressers, you know? Yeah. Um, so I really appreciate that. And I feel everyone needs, everyone has their own identity and everyone has the right to express that. And, people should know how they should be called and everything. So that I think shouldn't even be like in a roadmap. That's just normal, right? That should have just already, <laughs> that should have happened already kind of feel. Yeah. I yeah. agree. I mean, it, you know, it's the good thing about trends, but when it comes to like gaming packs and stuff, man, I was, I mean, for me, like, like dream home decorator and then cottage living, I was like, boom, boom, boom. Like, I'm all about that. Just because I'm like really British. 
Yes. But then at the same time, like the Dreamland decorator, like not the gameplay or anything like that crap, but um, more like just the stuff that came with it. So with the whole kind of love thing, like I've seen all like the slides and things like that. And um, I think it's going to have a lot of great cast. Like I can mm-hmm. see some of the outfits and I'm very much about fashion. I mean, I, don't, I, dress, like, I dress like Steve Jobs, like same every bloody day, but I really appreciate fashion. Yeah. Um, and I feel like there's going to be some great cast items in it. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if it's one for the builders. Like, I'm not sure I'm going to do much with wedding chairs. I mean, I've looked, as, as, you know, wedding banners, like it's not really going to yeah. fit into what I do. But at the same time, meh, I pass on it. But I appreciate mm-hmm. it's trying to trying to give everyone their own. Like some of the kits lately, right? The kits, yeah. all bloody fashion. I mean, I love fashion, but not for what I do in The Sims. And I feel like, are we going to have any more bloody clothing kits? Like, now it's my turn. But I feel like I've had my turn with... Dream of decorating cottage living, right? So yeah. Yeah, I think it just it just swings and roundabouts. So I'm just hoping maybe the second quarter might be more for builders. I so. um, but I appreciate I appreciate it, you know. No, I, I agree with you. Like I, I appreciate the pronouns. I, I kind of hope that that would have happened already. Yeah. And it like it like with like they don't need to make a big deal about it because it's something that should have already been done. Yeah. Um, Sims, I mean, like, I mean, I'm a gay man. Mm-hmm. Um, I know a lot of male uh, players are are also um, homosexuals mm-hmm. and, um, in the in, in, uh, with this. So, and I mean, and, and in between that, the people that you don't necessarily know what their pronouns are or anything. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think it's a very it's a game where it needs that, right? Because there's so many diverse people uh, within the Sims community. So, yeah, 100%. yeah. Oh, absolutely. I've done lots of these now, and I will always ask he she they them i just need to know because everyone is so different and yeah. and, and i think that's what makes the sims community so great is everybody can come from different walks of life and we can all enjoy the same game and i'm i want to definitely see more inclusiveness as the yeah. years go on um but anyways paul it has been an absolute pleasure getting to talk to you today and getting to know you um i kind of I cannot wait to see what you're going to do this year uh, with your builds. Do you have anything that's like super exciting that you want to share with us that you're working on? I'm working on one thing. So the hint is, you can try and guess it now if you want. The hint is Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves. Do you know the movie? It's Matrix? No. Sandra Bullock was not in the Matrix. Sorry, Actually, I, 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 I just heard Keanu <laughs> Reeves. I didn't hear Sandra Bullock. So I was like, <laughs> oh, I'm like, too fair. great well, Canadian it's, it's not warriors. a bus. It's not a bus. It's because uh, they, they, they were in two movies together. So that might throw someone. But I'm actually making the house from the um, the lake house from their movie. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Like, for me, that is one of the most beautiful houses, I think. And it's like, everyone, like, it, the whole film is made around this house, right? Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like, all sticks out on the water, all windows, like this really like dirt, light green. And I, I'm, I'm, I, I partially grew up by a seaside town with like a pier. So it's kind of maybe in my nature, but um, yeah, the lake house, that's what I'm currently building. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's awesome. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. Oh, I, I meant to ask you, are you, are you part of Juby Sims, uh, Sims Builder competition at all? Um. I, well, I've, I've heard about it and I did just ask a few questions. I was like, you know, if, it, if there's judges, how many judges they're going to be? I mean, if there was like yeah. 60 judges, I don't know if I want to be a judge. Um, if it was like, I don't know, more like X Factor or something and there was like four judges and yeah, I'd probably be, because I feel like maybe my voice would be heard a little bit more. Um, but um, otherwise, I'm just happy to like maybe partake, mm-hmm. but I need to like kind of read into it a little bit more because I feel like it's going to be it's super heavy, right? Mm-hmm. So I, I got selected to be a judge. I know. I'm so excited. I was like, um, everyone who's like, cause there's, I think there's like 15 of us that are judges. Everyone's like extremely like established and I make fart jokes. So like, I don't, <laughs> I'm like, one of us is not, not like, on only <laughs> fans, not only fans, <laughs> not, on only fans <laughs> not on only fans, just in real life. Um, no, it, it looks interesting to say the least. I was like, cause I I've, I've interviewed Juby. Um, that's yeah. coming out in a couple of weeks, but I, I filmed it like oh, amazing. Back. yeah I she's Canadian it's so nice to talk to other Canadians but she had she had messaged me about it and I'm like oh my god like yeah and I'm like I want to be a judge I can't <laughs> I, I can build but not like build build like <laughs> I also don't have time to be a build build so I was like no, I'm yeah. a judge and she's like I messaged her I was like yeah so hey I applied to be judge if you like don't want it like you're not hurting my heart 
everyone knows I'm more storyteller these days. And she's like, no, you're actually on my list. And I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, you are. Yeah. It's fun needed. There you go. I think I think I'm just around for the for the fun and the giggles. But she plans to do like lots more seasons. So yeah, we'll see how. The I mean, first I plan. I, I I would like to partake, but I like I've kind of given myself like the biggest like challenge. I want to. I'm trying to redo every single world like based on what it should be. So at the moment, I'm on yeah. um, Willow Creek. So I'm starting at the very beginning, and it's based on New Orleans, right? So yeah. that's why my last two builds have been very New Orleans okay. and I got like a lot of um, feedback on Facebook actually and a lot of people that on Facebook who because there's like I don't know like 100,000 uh, people on uh, like the Sims community on Facebook and a few of them are from New Orleans and like they literally like this is spot on so I'm kind of like I'm trying to redo every every house but then I don't want to like there's like what 15 lots or something yeah. but I don't want my whole Instagram then just to suddenly look like I'm just doing New Orleans mm-hmm. so I am gonna try and do like jumping in with like the lake house and i might do like a little challenge like there's a there's a, a very there's a few small challenges like the shop fronts and yeah challenge and that's good for the ig um yes but doesn't take forever because like these new orleans house like because i try to be really intricate with what i do mm-hmm. um they take me forever and that's why i don't do speed, speed builds because i can work on a room mm-hmm. i'll then go to the outside because i'll have an idea mm-hmm. i will think of one specific object that I need for something and it can take me like 15 minutes to go through and decide what I want to have and change it and stuff. I see people speed build and like their outcomes are, they just look amazing. But Mm -hmm. when they do it, when they're picking stuff, they kind of, it's like they already know what they want to pick and I don't, you know, well, you know, you like that as a, as a builder. Uh, yeah, a hundred percent. I actually just made a vow to myself to not film any more speed builds for the year. Um, I just, there's so many great speed builders out there. They're not coming to Stoss to watch speed builds. They're coming here to watch interviews. And I'm aware of that. And I honestly, I get way more voiceover work, which is which is great as well. Oh, well, thank you. Um, yeah, I used to go in without a plan. Now I go in with a plan. So my love day builds, I have photo references. And I'm just trying to match to as close as I can get. But yeah. there are some times, like, like for an example, like um, I did, I, I, I hosted a collab. Um, I hosted two last year. I hosted one that was Sailor Moon and one that was Harry Potter. And I just built the ground, the, um, the grand hall, uh, Halloween mm-hmm. themed. It took me like 40 hours to do. And it was one room. And I sat there and I watched the speed build and it's literally just me like going through different things and just like placing everything down. And my eyes glazed over. Cause I'm like, no one cares how I built this. Like, it's not that exciting, but Hey, spoop, like there are like speed builders out there that actually make their stuff yeah. exciting. Kudos to you. But yeah, no, I would sit there and be like, oh, okay. Yeah. So I did end up picking that lamp. Or I'd forget which lamp I'd pick. I'd be like, oh, yeah, I like this one. This is great. And 10 seconds later, I'd delete it. I'm like, oh, I guess I didn't like it. (laughs) Sorry, guys. I, like, made this video, like, four months ago, and I'm now just getting around (laughs) to edit it. So you do you. But uh, Collabs are great, though. I've only only done one collab in my my entire life. And um, I did it with Karen. She actually lives in London as well. So I think I'm simply Sim Home. Sorry, Karen, if I got it wrong. But uh, we actually made, like, a pub, and I did the outside and the inside. Uh, I did the outside and she did the inside, but I always get really nervous. I'm thinking, oh, are they going to like what I've done? Mm-hmm. Or, you know, if they want to change something, like I get really like nervous about it, but I want to do more collabs definitely. In the, not like massive scales where they've done like Hogwarts and stuff like that, but like yeah. maybe like one, one. Uh, Cause I think it's great just to put two like creative minds together to create something that you would never, either of you wouldn't have done on your own. Right. Yeah. I mean, Hey, if you ever want to do a collab with me, I'm always open to do collabs <laughs> or you can I, also- have, I, have a qu- I have a question for you actually about the new pack as well coming out. What do you think the game, cause this is the thing. Yeah. I know what weddings are like in Sims. Okay. They're shite. Absolute shite. Sure. What do you think the gameplay is going to, going to, going to be like for the weddings? Are they going to like force the Sims to sit down? And Oh, I think it's going to be shit. I think they're not going to fix anything. I think it's going to be the exact same and we're all going to pay 30 bucks to have three new wedding dresses. I don't think, yeah. I, I don't know. I haven't, right. that's my feeling about it. I I had really high hopes that it was going to. I feel better. like if they do change it, I just feel like it's going to be so fucking glitchy. It's going to be so glitchy. Yeah. Like, Hon- honestly, like I said, I haven't had any of my Sims get married in years, like years, even Rose Chronicles. It's all poses. None of it's real. 
Um, yeah. I, I'm just so stuck with poses because I can literally control every aspect of every sim because I'm a control yeah. freak. Um, I truly <laughs> it's don't. A white think, knight. Yeah, exactly. I truly <laughs> don't think that um, it's going to make a difference. I think we're just going to pay 30 bucks for expensive yeah. cast stuff, if I'm going to be honest. I think that's the Sims 4 thing because, I mean, I watched a video with Plumbelina and um, she was doing like a, like, I don't know, she had to keep every, you'd have like a full family. So there'd be like maybe two parents and the rest of all kids, like toddlers and teens. <laughs> and um, you would have to try and keep them alive for as long as possible. I think it's like a Sim week, right? Yeah. And she was playing it, she was doing it double time. So it would be the Sims 4, and the Sims 3. She was playing both at the same time. They're on full speed and you've got to try and keep them alive. And there's like eight kids or whatever or six kids or I don't know how many you can get in the game. Anyway, and at the end of it, literally the Sims 4, the place just fucking exploded, right? <laughs> That's, they, they just, they're so stupid in Sims 4, the Sims. They can't like, yes. oh, if I need to wash up a plate, let me go to the bathroom on the other end of the house. Yep. Oh, I want to eat something. Oh, but I don't want to eat it. Like, But then Sims 3 and stuff, like, the Sims, the autonomy was just so much better. And that's mm-hmm. the issue with the wedding, I think. Yes. Because you'd invite people over and then, I mean, I don't play, but I, I watch all the videos. <laughs> but yeah, they, that's the one thing that I really hope for the, the new pack, because if you want to make a good wedding, you have to keep everyone in fucking line. <laughs> no, I, I totally agree with you. Um, I think this is the perfect place, again, to cap it off. Where can we find every like your work? Like, what's your Instagram, your Facebook, your, if you have a Twitter or I yeah. don't think you have a YouTube, correct? I do have a YouTube because I wanted okay. to keep my name before anyone else stole it. So I do have a YouTube. I have nothing on there. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so at the moment, it's literally like Facebook, which still is a bit like, I just post builds on there. I don't need, I know it can go back to me. You can just see my post. But main thing is follow me on IG. So Instagram at SimBuildBoy. I am on Twitch as well, which is something I want to get into. So once again, SimBuildBoy and YouTube SimBuildBoy. Um, nice and easy um there's nothing on twitch or youtube but follow me because hopefully there will be some no cc art coming there will be some streaming coming once i sort out microphones and all of that chat jazz but yeah just beef me up on the instagram guys <laughs> oh my gosh well i cannot wait to see whenever you when you start a youtube or twitch microphone's gonna be your best friend i yeah. kid you not i do your research i have a blue ice ball uh, yeah. it's great i have obviously the razor headphones fantastic um start small work your way up but uh anyways <laughs> paul it has been an absolute pleasure getting to know you today like i said Thank i cannot you. wait to see what the future holds you know if you ever want to do a collab you know i'm one dm away i'll always do a collab with you and i'm actually looking forward to our builders chat next month yeah the round yes. table like i mean there's this i just think because there's just some great builders out there like way better than me like a few a few to name like God, i'm so bad with names but like eva i think you met you, you work with the, um, the weekend builder like yes. she's amazing she is amazing Sophie Stimo, um is is amazing um and there's quite a few people like from i don't know whether they're, whether they're from china or japan or but oh my god they're just i don't i don't got their names but they're just so bloody good um and yeah i just that uh, just to be with some people who also think the just like pure build like you as well because you, 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 you do quite a lot of building but mm-hmm. it'd be great just to discuss openly yeah. like i said before i i watch a lot of the actors do their round tables and i'm like that's and you know what? when you or you had already done it but when i watched the first one i was like we should do this for sims and then you went and stole it so <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I beat you to it. <laughs> but it saves me a job of organizing it. <laughs> oh, it's like herding cats organizing this. I'll promise well, you that. That's the thing. We're all global. So it's very mm-hmm. difficult to get everyone at the same place, especially when you're on all different time zones. But I'm really looking forward to that. That'll be a lot of fun. No, I, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'm going to post the ad next week. So let's hope we can get some. Uh, some people we already have some people on there that i know that are builders that are just like yes a hundred percent yes so yeah. anyways paul like i said nice. it's been an absolute pleasure please go check out his stuff the links are going to be below he is an amazing thank builder you. uh thank you so much for being here today and you have a great rest of your day okay you too thank you so much you are very welcome